Let's Go Outdoors. Supported by the Alberta Conservation Association. Driving back from a fishing trip out of province this summer? If so, you're being asked to pull into one of several watercraft inspection stations to have your boat looked over for some unwanted invasive species. We are opening our boat inspections. We have four on major highways entering Alberta. This is the Vermilion site, so we are really concerned about boats on the eastern border because of a new infestation at Lake Winnipeg, Manitoba. We know lots of boats are coming out of that area. We really want to make sure that uh, we get a look at their boat and get to talk to them about this important issue. So they can basically attach themselves onto any hard substrate. While boat inspections are voluntary at this time, no one would feel good if their boat brought back an invasive species like zebra mussels. We want to check every little part of this trailer. The economic and environmental impacts are vast. We figure if we do nothing here in Alberta and we have an infestation of quagga or zebra mussels, we're looking at over $75 million a year. Now there are three critical steps you can take once your boat has come out of the water clean, drain, dry your boat. When you pull your boat out of the water, you should walk around, make sure there's no mussels, there's no plants, there's no mud attached. You wanna drain your bilge, drain your ballast, live wells, any kind of place you'd find standing water because the larval phase will actually travel uh, up to 30 days in that standing water. Same with the attached mussels, up to 30 days out of water. If a boat is, is really clean, drained and dry before it is launched again, that is the best way to prevent any aquatic invasive species. If you want a future of clean, fresh water and to ensure your kids have a chance to enjoy angling, then have your boat inspected every time you return from an out-of-province fishing trip.